Warriors at Mavs Jr. Brown back in the NBA shot clock on this Wednesday, March 13th with another free pick. And we're rocking with the Mavs team total over 121 and a half. Don't think this Golden State Warriors can slow them down enough to keep them under this total. The Mavs average 120 points per game on their home court. And I know the numbers say Golden State have been much better defensively. And it's true, the numbers do say that. However, if you look at some of the teams they've played recently, like they played the Spurs back-to-back, -back, they played the Bulls before that, they played a lot of mediocre to bad offensive teams. And I think that with this new lineup flexibility that Daniel Gafford has brought in, so now Derek Lively is coming off the bench, which is probably the way it should be for a young player like him still trying to figure out uh, NBA basketball. He looks better. Daniel Gafford looks amazing. Maxi Kleber is still doing what he does. And I think that that trio of big men and the flexibility that offers uh, Dallas' lineup is going to be too much for Golden State, who just doesn't really play any big men anymore. They play that young guy, but he doesn't have anything for these guys. And again, just go back and look at Dallas' last game. Kyrie and Luka couldn't really make a shot, and they still put up a buck 27. So if Kyrie and Luka play average or above average, which for Luka is not a problem, and for Kyrie either, for that matter, especially against this Golden State backcourt, I think that the, the Mavs sail over this total. It's the only part of this game that I can trust because I can't lay 7.5 points with a Mavs defense that's letting in over 120 points per 100 possessions. I can always trust their offense, though, especially with Luka, who makes scoring the basketball look like he's playing at the local YMCA. So give me the Dallas offense to get over 121.5 and, and cash us another ticket, y'all.